Hey guys, uh, Nurse Alyssa here. Welcome back, and if this is your first time tuning in, my name's Alyssa, and I'm a wound care nurse from Ontario, Canada. So on this channel, you'll find lots of videos on different wound care products, how-tos, um, everything you need to know about wound care. Um, so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Um, but in today's video, we're going to learn all about Acticoat Flex. Anything that you need to know about Acticoat Flex is going to be in this video. Stay tuned. So Acticoat Flex is an antimicrobial. It's an anti-inflammatory. So when you have an infected wound, um, this is a great product because you do have that antimicrobial effect. Um, and the nano silver particles will actually um, kill the bacteria in as little as 30 minutes. So um, it actually comes in a single sheet. It's polyester um, and it provides comfort and flexibility for the patient. So indications for use is for partial and full thickness wounds. Um, this includes first and second degree burns, uh, covering graft sites, surgical sites, uh, venous ulcers, pressure ulcers, and diabetic ulcers. So when do we not use uh, Acticoat? So the contraindications, we don't want to use this on patients who have a known silver allergy because it has nanoparticles of silver. Um, if a patient is undergoing an MRI or radiation therapy, we want to take this product off and we can uh, reapply it after their therapy. And this product is also not compatible with saline. Um, so it actually neutralizes the nano silver particles. Um, so then really we're putting it on for no reason at all. Um, so normally we're using saline to clean a wound. But what you're going to do is flush the wound with just sterile water afterwards um, just to get the saline because it's actually the sodium uh, chloride in the saline that neutralizes the silver. So as long as we flush it away with water after, that's perfectly fine um, and then we won't have um, that problem there. So just some precautions. Um, this product is not com uh, compatible with oil-based products such as petroleum, so your petroleum jelly. Uh, you want to avoid contacts with electrodes and conductive gels, so your ECGs, your EEGs. Um, you don't want to put the two together. Um, it's for external use only, so you can use it to pack a wound, but you gotta be careful that there's no exposed organs. Um, it's not intended for third degree burns um, and if you have an infection so you really have to go through your nerds and stonies um, if you have a local infection um, you can use this because we know that it'll go about three millimeters deep but if you have it I have a lot of your stonies criteria um, this should not be used as the only product. Um, you're going to need your antibiotic, but that's the same thing for any antimicrobial dressing. Um, they only go in about three millimeters deep. Um, so there can be some pain when you do apply this dressing, but it shouldn't be a continuous pain. If uh, your patient is having continuous pain after it's applied, it should be discontinued and a different product should be used. Some features and benefits to the Acticoat Flex. So it does come in Acticoat Flex 3 and Acticoat Flex 7. So that actually stands for how many days it's good for. The 3 is 3 days, the 7 is 7 days. So um, it has antimicrobial activities um, for the 3 and 7 days. So it is good against a broad, broad spectrum of wound pathogens, um, which includes MRSA and Pseudomonas. It rapidly kills bacteria as little as 30 minutes. Um, antimicrobial action helps provide um, protection from bacterial colonization. It's very flexible and it has stretching properties. Um, so it moves with the patient when they're moving body parts. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't have so much um, trauma um as as some just sit there and rub and rub and rub because they're not they're not actually moving with the client this will actually move with the client because it has that stretch um and it minimizes discomfort to the patient 
So some more benefits and features. Uh, because it is a mesh dressing, it does allow Exudate to pass through and go to your cover dressing uh, very easily. Um, it can be used with negative pressure therapy. So in your back dressings, um, you would put it in the base of your wound, uh, and that does help with antimicrobial um, effect. The three and seven day wear time, uh, it can easily be removed in one piece because it has a low adherent rate to the wound. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't like to stick to the wound, um, which helps prevent trauma when you go to remove it. Um, but as anything, anything can always stick to a wound. Uh, so you can always put some just sterile water just to peel it back very easily. If you would like to see how to exactly use um, the Acticoat Flex in a demonstration, I did put a link in the, in the description below um, where I show you exactly how to use this product. I hope you found this video uh, informative, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it would be much appreciated.